<laughs> what are you waiting for? The helicopter! It's coming. <laughs> Shelly, you can calm, please. Calm down? Yes, please. What's this? Great piece of rescue equipment that I really love to see. <laughs> Surf Lifesaver New South Wales is committed to developing its young people uh, so they can be leaders in the organisation as well as their communities. So we've come together for the week um, and we do a whole range of team building, um, self development activities which are fun but as well as um, develop them as individuals so hopefully they can go back and take their experiences into their clubs and support their organisations into the future. So over the course of the couple of days we have junior lifesavers from across New South Wales from, from every branch, uh, we've got 11 branches and they've come here together to, to represent New South Wales and, and represent themselves as a, as a person. And uh, they're actually learning about life saving itself. So they're, they're going to the state operations centre and, and ensuring that uh, our state bodies are, are looking after them on the beach there. Uh, we've also got uh, our junior lifesavers of the year here as well. So, so they're representing the, the brand that is Surf Life Saving and they're representing uh, each club or each branch throughout uh, New South Wales here. Uh, so we've got um, junior lifesaver of the year. Um, so that's the finalists from all the branches across the state. Um, each of those, they're 13 and 14 year olds, so they're here. And we've got Youth Opportunity Makers, which is the 15, 16, 17 year olds. Yeah, so I get to sit down now with the Junior Lifesavers of the Year and present a, a goal setting session. So, so we're looking at personal goals, so what they want to achieve within the organisation, but also what they want to achieve outside the organisation. Yeah, this camp's awesome. It's teaching me a lot of leadership skills and yeah, had a fun time. Met this guy. Yeah, friends, never met each other and we're pretty good mates right now, so it's another new mate to add to the list. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been really good, eh? Like, you can't complain, it's been all paid for and it's like, it's like one in a life, like, or well, maybe twice if we come for um, Yom, but it's just been really good and like, can't complain. It's been to a lifetime. Yeah, it's yeah. like just great. It's really so good. fun. Yeah. It's so fun. It's like you don't really. We play a lot of games. And it's crazy. We, we just have fun. Yeah, and yeah. we met this helicopter and those guys. You met the helicopter. <laughs> well, like, we went in the helicopter. <laughs> yeah. So what's been the best part so far? Um, I like the um the treetop things today. Those were fun. Yeah, we did a challenger thing and that was really good. Yeah. Actually, I like trivia night. Oh yeah, yeah that was trivia night. night was really best. fun. Everybody got dressed up in their team colours. And I was a dinosaur. I was I was a giraffe. Yep. I was in a Hawaiian skirt. <laughs> and, we, and we came second. We played a yeah. we played just we just played a lot of games and had fun as a big group with the young kids. So it was really fun. It's oh. heaps fun. I'm having yeah. so much fun. It's a great time. It's um, had a heap of new friends. So. And what did you just do? Oh, just on the deck. Yeah. Have the pickups. 
got it on my GoPro. Yeah. So good. Yeah, so much fun. <laughs> Out there, and he was just showing me how to crew. And then um, we led to my in the water. And um, we circle around us so that I could test out how to get up into the boat. Oh, so you're doing the patient pickups? Yeah, patient pickups. How'd you go? Good? Yeah, pretty good. I'm here to meet new people and learn more things that I can bring into my surf club and see how I can help get other youth involved in the surf club and how it can make the surf club more fun for people my age and yeah. Well I came to the YOM program to um, bond with other people from other clubs around New South Wales and I'm really liking meeting new people and doing the activities we do each day. They've been really good. I'm at this camp because I'm here for the Junior Ice Surf of the Year Award. Um, and um, it's pretty good here, the food's pretty good. Like, meet some new friends and mates and all that stuff. And um, yeah, I think I have a pretty good chance, but you never know. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Yeah, it's a good deal of the chance of the year. Yeah, I think I've got a, a pretty good chance, but if I don't know, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I, I think I might be like that. And what do you think you do? I think it would just be great, like I just, I, I just, I'm really, really excited to get like, just be a really great honor to run such a prestige so. Um, I started in the under 11s at North Kyoko. I just did like one or two trainings a week and just did it for nippers. And then in the under 12s, I think I got a medal at state, so I started taking it a bit more seriously. And then under 13s and 14s, I didn't have any teams at state, so I was a bit disappointed when all the Queensy boys were doing team events. So I moved over in under 15s and yeah, it's just been been sick. Yeah. Yeah, when did you start competing? Uh, under sixes at North Stain and then I moved here in under eights. Yeah, so you've been competing ever since? Yeah. Yeah. You enjoy it? What do you like about it? Just meeting up with friends and it's good, it's fun competing. Um, I started competing here in the under nines and I did two years in under nines but I started nippers at Balmoral in under fours. Okay and you moved across, you moved from there? Yeah I was told to leave by Balmoral and told to go find some competition in the surf so I'm happy I moved to Queenscliff. Uh, they told me that I had to go and find some competition because it was pointless me being down there and they saw that I had a future in surf life saving. Oh and there's not enough competition yeah, that's about it. So under 15 has been your first time here at Queensland? Yeah, this is my first year at Queensland, yeah. And we have like nine training and Chris, our coach, and all the support from all the dads and yeah, all the, all the older guys just help us get through everything. Okay. How many golds did you win at the Aussies? Um, I got two gold. I was happy with my individual, but the team event was the best, best gold in the Cameron Wheeler. That was the best. Yeah. So what were the two? Um, I won the tube as well. So the tube was an in, tube's an individual. Tube, yeah, tube's individual, yeah. yeah. And that was on a Saturday, and the Cameron was earlier in the week, so I was happy, happy to get one up early. I was happy with my results at Aussies, and happy with how the team went and how we did in all our events. So, yeah. 
Yeah, how many goals did you come away with? I came out with three goals. Oh, what were they for? I, we won the Cameron Relay, and then I won the Swim, and I won the Ironman. So now the season's coming to an end, What's, what, are you, what are you going to do in the offset? What are you doing in the offset? Uh, I'm going to have like a few months off and see, I don't know, I need a break from getting up early and training every afternoon. So I'm going to have two months off, I think. And then I, I'm competing on the ski this year as well. So I've got to, got to start compete, training on that. So I'll start up on that soon. Uh, we just finished under 15, so now we're going to under 17. So then we race the, we'll be in the younger age group for the under 17s, racing the older age group. Right. How are you on a ski? Uh, I've only done one training session on the ski, but I'm hoping to get a bit more time on the ski and then hopefully get a bit better. Go, Cal! Go, Cal! Go, Cal! What's your favourite thing about being a lifesaver? Um, probably just having all of my mates here when we're on patrols. We're just a great bunch of guys on patrols, training and competing. It's all a bit chilled and laid back and then it's just great to have everyone around you. Um, I do my patrols at North Curley because I'm a member there and so yeah I like it at North Curley. We have like rosters and yeah it's, it's good fun. Now I got my bronze as well. And so how are the Aussies? Yeah it was really fun. It's a good experience. Is that, is that the first Aussie you've been to? Yeah first one. Yeah, and how was it winning a team event? Pretty exciting. Killed it. When we're in front, it's good. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Who's your biggest competition you reckon next year as you move, as you change age groups? Newport. Yeah, well, we're going to the double age group next year with 17s. So we'll have all the Queensland Cubs plus the. Yeah, all the Newport boys and the Manly boys. Aussies was was a really great meet this year over in Perth and um, we took a really large group from the beach and also from the water um, and the beach competitors are always pretty strong in Masters and um, I think we won every relay, uh, one came third um, so I was part of the 170 beach relay team which won gold and um, I also ran individually and came fourth and did flags individually and came fourth. Um, and I've been, been competing since about 2007 and got into it because of the kids with nippers and have really enjoyed it. Compete with my husband as well and we train together and we've met a great group of people and that's why we're still competing. So. Um, 2014 has been a really successful year and we've all been sort of pulled together by Paul, our beach coach, who is ill at the moment and um, he came over and ran as well, which was incredible. But um, yeah, we just, we just love competing um, as a group and as a group we're very successful. First, first Aussies I've ever been to and had an absolute blast down there. Uh, it was great to, to learn off all of these uh, masters of the beach and uh, have a good crack at it. Yeah, D D Dave uh, has been doing particularly well um, this season. This is his uh, first season uh, competing in the beach uh, competition side. Um, he just you know, smashed it at uh, state. Um, did really well uh, for his first Australians uh, and uh, you know, sort of, uh, got up there in the placings in a couple of events uh, and uh, yeah, he had a cracker of a uh, Aussie. So the rest of the team, uh, as you probably read in the, in the media and the like, um, just did exceptionally well um, under the uh, coaching of Paul Hammond. Um, he did a valiant uh, effort as well in his own event, which was the relay. Um, you know, it's been a very challenging season for the team. A lot of training put in, and also, uh, you know, with Paul uh, not being so well, um, you know, it's obviously impacted uh, people's uh, attitude and really brought out. Um, the, uh, the fighting spirit, I think, uh, which is what uh, he's all about. 
Um, all up, um, good wrap up. Um, you know, Annabelle, who we already interviewed, she did uh, exceptionally well. The girls, um, Helen Porter, just amazing uh, uh, what she's come through. Um, the last few seasons, just taking out, I think she took about three gold or something. Three or four, she likes, to, four, she yeah, likes to collect yeah, those. She likes to collect those. <laughs> so she did exceptionally well. And just, you know, just all around, um, you know, in the relays to the individual events, uh, people did really well. Great result for the club, great result for the team. And, uh, you know, certainly hope um, uh, Paul, um, you know, uh, can see that, uh, you know, everyone is in there uh, gunning for him. And, uh, you know, thanks a lot, Paul. Thanks a lot, Queenscliff. Um, for giving us all the opportunity to have a go and uh, look forward to next year, eh? Absolutely. Yeah. You know it's a good team when the announcers on the beach keep talking about how strong it is this year. <laughs> that's it, was a, right. it was a good feeling. That, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely awesome. So, um, yeah, thank you. Oh, the Aussies were great, yes. Um, we, um, our Avalon Beach Masters women's crew managed to bag a fourth Aussies gold in a row, which was fantastic. Um, we actually didn't think we had much of a, a chance of winning um, Avoca Beach got us at state and we were um, out for revenge basically so um, yeah we, we went there with sort of an understanding that we were hopefully had a chance at least but they've been so strong all season but um, we managed to um, manage to, to win it which was fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. So Perth was interesting it was um, the not, not not so much surf as ch wind chop, so the racing was really um, was quite tricky. Going out, negotiating the break, I suppose, going out and getting back across the bank. Um, that was really the only surf to speak of, and it was really quite tricky to negotiate. Lots of the boats were coming unstuck, coming back in, and and um, yeah, very different conditions to what we see over here on the east coast. Here we are. Beautiful Saturday morning. People don't know how nice it is in the water. So here we are on Manly Beach in the middle of April, uh, towards the end of uh, the season. As you can see, there's not many people down here today, so uh, everything's un under control on this patrol in particular. For the club, it's been a, a good year. We uh, finished the renovations and uh, are very pleased with the result. Uh, also, the fact that the renovations uh, cost us less than we had hoped. Last week was the Aussie Championships and uh, Manly Life Saving Club finished second, which is the best result since 1991. What was equally as pleasing was the fact that uh, points and medals were won in all the age groups, boys and girls, uh, rather than one area um, contributing most of the uh, points. So that was a great result. Um, we're looking forward to uh, the end of the Patrol season, uh, two more weeks. Um, next week we've got the Royals visiting um, our lovely beach on well, next Good Friday and some of the nippers will be uh, putting on a demonstration for um, William, Kate and uh, baby George. So that uh, should be quite interesting. Uh, and then the week after it was the last, last patrol of the year and uh, we can sit back and uh, reflect on what we've achieved and start planning again for next year. Um, there's always something to do and um, we're very lucky that we've got uh, a fine body of volunteers here at Manly um, contributing in many ways to keeping this beach safe and, um, and to the general community. Got, got over to Aussies, um, combined a bit of work while I was over there, um, was pleasantly surprised to see that the, the track was sort of fair and fast, although the outside lanes towards the water were, were definitely boggier. So the guys in one, two, and three had a uh, had an advantage. And I think uh, if you look at the results in the opens, that certainly played out. But uh, but in my event, I was lucky. Uh, Michael Getz from Queenscliff had won the race before me running in lane six. I drew lane seven, so there was no excuse. So uh, if Getzy had sort of pulled one out of the fire, I had to, I had to run pretty well. Um, so uh, yeah, very good technique. Uh, Ruben, our, our sprint coach, um, very focused on technique and, uh, and I ran pretty well. So uh, led led from uh, led from start to finish. 
So uh, it was a good one. That's uh, that's three in a row. So quite happy about that. <laughs> and then uh, then uh, you know, and a great result to see Manly come second overall. Terrific result against uh, very 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 strong competition over there. Um, you know, to beat all those Sunshine Coast clubs, uh, to beat the likes of, of North Burley, um, even some of the uh, some of the uh, clubs on the beaches. You know, to, to towel up Newport like that was a terrific effort from Manly. So, uh, yeah, good result. So. Oh, we all got a medal. We all got a medal. It's good. It was lots of fun. Mm -hmm. Sunday was fun as well. Sunday was loose. <laughs> and. <laughs> and we came well, second overall. Oh yeah. yeah, pretty exciting. Big achievement. With not that many competitors, unlike Newport. <laughs> <laughs> so how was it to beat Newport? Um, it was good. We're all friends anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But it was good to beat them because they beat Competitive us. Competitive friends. Yeah, because they beat us at state, so it was good to beat them at the Aussie titles good achievement. We thought we weren't going to go very well because we didn't have very many competitors because it was so far away. But we still came second. Mm. And it was flat. And the girls dominated. The boys are crap. Yeah. Kidding. <laughs> Kidding. But the girls are really good, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Mika really can well. tell you. Yeah, come on Mika. Yeah, Mika. How, Your many, time to how shine. many girls did you get? I got six. Six? Yep. Yeah. How many Georgia get? Mika, what was your favourite event? Uh, Ford Relay with Laura and Georgia. Mm, with that me was a good race, and Georgia. We won. Yeah. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> yeah, very exciting race. This year. But the surf was interesting. It was so non existent. Yeah, just had like massive backwash. It was like training in a lake. Apart from the backwash. Apart from the backwash. That was fun. You got on a backwash, you got like 10 metres ahead. And it was great. Yeah. Or 10 minutes behind. <laughs> or 10 minutes behind. <laughs> or yeah. nosedive on the backwash. <laughs> anyway, it was good. And the water was warm. Yeah. We didn't have any sharks, which is good. Or well, maybe we did, but we just never knew. You see the shark that was actually there? Yeah. Anyway, all I've really got to say. <laughs> we got ninth and this year we ended up fourth so um, our goal was top six so we we definitely achieved that and yeah everyone was wrapped we all put in a lot of effort going into it and <coughs> I think pretty much everyone was happy with how they race so it was yeah it was unreal and how many how many gold medals did you win uh, I ended up six four teams and two individual two individual so yeah. you were you were named the uh, competitor of the carnival yeah yeah, that was it. That must have been a great honour for you. Yeah, it was unreal. Um, a lot of it was kind of club performance though, because most of my medals were team medals. So, but um, yeah, yeah, it was really good. That was good. Yeah. yeah. And so, what do you do in the off season? Um, just muck around in the surf, you know, catch up on a bit of uni work. Um, yeah, just have some fun, try and relax, and get ready for next season again. Ready for next season? When did you actually start competing? Uh, when I first got under eights, I think. Um, did the wade and stuff, and some beach sprints I used to do. We had a good beach relay, and then I just progressed to the water and yeah, never looked back. Did I love it? Yeah, it's unreal. Had heaps of fun with all, the, all my friends and stuff, you know, all my friends. Well, most of my friends do it, so um, yeah, I just love coming to train and hanging out with them. Yeah. 
fantastic. Yeah. Um, what's life like off the trial? No, <laughs> it's pretty. Well, it's alright when the beach is closed and there's big surf. We just club ca uh, patrol captain lets us go and muck around and catch some big waves and yeah, it's pretty crazy. But when it's during summer, it's um, yeah, got to be on the ball, I guess. Just make sure everyone's watching. So Max gets one. Haley had to wait. Hang no, on. No, you knew it, guys. Getting super treatment, Max. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> no, you didn't at all. <laughs> So is this a typical day of patrol balls? Yeah, we're the, we're the gourmet patrol. That's what we're known as. Yeah. Was there another week you